Hey, what's up guys? David here from Dignited. Today, I want to show you how you can SSH into a remote server on your Chromebook. All right, let's get into it. So SSH is one of the ways that you can use to log in into a remote server on the internet and you can perfectly do that on your Chromebook. So to SSH to a remote server, you use the terminal application. So you can just search for the terminal application from the app launcher and then you can launch it here. This application has been uh, updated by Google recent and now it features an SSH section here that you can use to remote into uh, servers. Right. So uh, the SSH application is actually a combination of the SSH Chrome extension and uh, HTAM. HTAM is a JavaScript library that provides a terminal emulator. So Google has used HTAM and then its uh, SSH application, which has been the default way of actually SSHing into remote servers using a Chromebook. And you can actually also download it separately from the Chrome Web Store. It's called Secure Shell. So so a combination of the secure shell and HTAM is uh, what you have here. It's really nice. It's polished up. And this is what we're going to use. So you have a section here which says add SSH. So that's what you tap. And uh, here you're going to have to add a command. And uh, you start with the username and then the host name and the port and so forth. We have a cloud server. So I'm just going to SSH into that and we see how it goes. So my username and then the server here all right we can skip identity for now identity is used for password ssh we shall which we shall use later and then here where it says ssh relay server so if your server needs to be accessed through another server this is where you use the relay options so i'm just going to have to say save after you save uh you have your ssh connection here now tap onto it all right, so now it's connecting to my remote server. It's prompting me for the password. So this is password based SSH for now, but we shall change that later. So I'm just going to enter the password. Oh yeah, and now you can see I've logged into my remote server using SSH on a Chromebook. Now, if you don't want to enter a password each time you remote onto the server, you can actually do password SSH as well. And uh, how you do it is just come to the SSH connection here and uh, click on the pencil icon. And under identity here, you're going to have to import private key. So SSH is a combination of uh, private and public key and the public key is what you add to the remote server whereas the private key stays on your local machine the private key should never be shared with anyone it has to be kept secret so the way that you create this private public key combination is uh, you can actually use the terminal application here just going to launch the penguin linux container and then you can use ssh keygen command that will generate a key pair for you so let's just uh, start the container then and when you type in ssh keygen all right yeah it will generate for you a pair of public private rsa key pair and it's going to save on your home directory so i already did that i'm not going to do that so i'm just going to end that and you can see it's already here and uh, SSH, all right, you can see the ID dash RSA, that is the private key, this one here, and then the ID dash RSA dot pub with the dot pub extension, that is the public key. So this is what you're going to have to share on a remote server or on GitHub or whatever scheme uses um, SSH authentication, you can just save it there. So I already generated this private public key and saved it to my uh, home directory here. And also on the, I can access it from the Linux files here. So you can see it here. Now let's just go back to the SSH configuration and upload it. So just tap on import and then search for that private key. I've, I have it here, I named it ID RSA private key. So I'm just going to tap on it and then come to the drop down and then select it here. 
and then click on save so once i've saved and then i tap on the ssh connection again it should not prompt me for a password this time and there you go you can see it didn't prompt me for a password this is now passwordless ssh all right so just exit out of it and so you also have uh, ssh settings in the terminal application just right click on the terminal application then come to settings here and then uh, on the left side panel you can see ssh here so you have two sections here you have two files the dot ssh slash known hosts so these are the fingerprints of the known hosts that you've uh, connected to they are saved here and anytime you want to delete them you can just uh, come and just backspace and delete it and then you also have the dot ssh slash config file so if you have some custom config files here for your ssh connection you can add it here I didn't really find this very useful i didn't figure out how, how to use it but it's here so if you guys have an idea let me know in the comments down below but yeah so these are the ssh settings that uh, you can add to your ssh connection but if you don't use this um, terminal application you can also just go to the linux container itself so when you started the linux container you can just yeah do it the old school way that's also okay yeah. so you can definitely ssh into any cloud instance from a linux container that has started a linux vm that you have started from the terminal application it's not really necessary but if you want that power well you definitely can use the built-in terminal application that runs on linux virtual machines just in case the htm client doesn't really work for you all right so this has been how to ssh to remote instances your new chromebook uh, if you like this video go ahead and give us a thumbs up if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, we'll see you guys in the next one.